So something special about Rule the World is that um, you have multiple camera modes and so if you're in split screen for example each player can play how they choose and something that might make it into the final game although I won't make any promises is this first person mode so see here you can actually one of the challenges with uh, developing an additional first person mode is that the player is going to want to look around and he's going to immediately see that there's not a lot of details around so you can see why at the moment this is very experimental and it might not make it into the end but you still have two camera modes which I will show you very shortly and you also have zoom controls over your character now, all this in split screen of course because if you're using shared screen then you're gonna need a fixed camera view or else it just it won't work so here you have this rotating camera mode and then here is the twin stick shooter camera mode so you can play in both of these modes and you can turn on split screen at any time here so that you and your buddies can choose how you prefer to play it's probably going to be relevant to the size of your screen so if you're doing some platforming you're playing by yourself I think that um, having a rotating camera helps out a lot and for combat as well um, being zoomed out and in twin stick shooter mode it's optimal so more tactical you can shoot enemies quicker but for platforming definitely the rotating camera so this is the beginning this is some placeholder static meshes just for um, platforming I'll probably replace them with some um, landscape geometry which will look a lot sharper than these so here you go here you get to the still a lot of um, foliage needs to be added but um, I will show you some of the platform and turn on god mode so we can speed things up a bit here Whee! and here we go up all right let me turn it off or else I'm gonna fall so here you have um, quite a bit of challenge because um, this is actually slippery so see I'm letting go of the input and it's still it's sliding so like I said it's slippery you have to get across it Ooh, it's quite a challenge of course experienced players will have no trouble with this but if you do happen to fall I, I did design it so that um it could be challenging and not frustrating at the same time so let's say for example you did fall you will take fall damage a bit um, that didn't happen actually so I just remade that part but yeah see you do take some damage I just need to make that fall a little sharper but you will be right back here you don't need to restart the entire level which I always find frustrating especially if you're playing with a lot of people you know having to restart the entire thing all the way from the beginning nobody really enjoys that or maybe some people do enjoy that and I'm sorry that this isn't gonna happen but maybe um, actually I do have a hard mode where you have one life and so yeah you can play the hard mode if that's your cup of tea and here we have um, clearly using epics assets here uh, and we'll have more platforming that's all I have right now this is another part where you'll be platforming and if you do fall Oh, don't chase me. Why would you chase me? Down into the water. Not smart, little bear. And once you're in the water as well, you take um, cold damage. And it's actually, it exponentially increases the longer you stay in the water. Ooh, that was the bear that... <laughs> the bear's not supposed to walk through the water. That's pretty silly. But um, yeah, exponentially get more cold damage the longer you stay in the water. That's all the updates we have for now on the ice level. Still a long way to go. Thanks for watching.